Sarah and today I'm going to be doing my January TBR. So if you guys were paying attention to my channel last year, you might have realized I didn't read as many books as I typically do. I read about 80 books last year and of those 80 books, about 60 of them I read in the beginning half of the year, like between January and May. So in the last seven months or so, I read about 15 to 20 books. I've been in like kind of a reading slump, but I'm still reading, just not as much because I've been a lot more busy. I'm hoping that my time will open up this year, but I honestly don't know how much it will open up. So my goal for reading this year is gonna be about 100 books for the entire year. So a little bit more than last year, but like I feel like 100 is a good number to set. And because of that, I wanna read about eight books per month. So for all of my TBRs this year, I'm gonna be trying only eight books on the TBR. Now I might read books that are not on on the TBR, but the eight books that I put on that TBR are the books that I'm definitely going to try and get to. I'm also not going to give myself like random goals like I have in the past. I feel like when I'm in the mood for something, I tend to pick up other genres now anyway, in a way that a couple of years ago, I probably just would have only picked up fantasy, maybe sci-fi occasionally. So I think I'm a little bit better at picking up just other genres and things like that, mostly because I've expanded the number of authors that I read and the authors that I follow. So because of that, I'm literally just going to put the books that I want to read the most. So that is what this list is, is the eight books that I want to read the most in January, and hopefully I can get to all of them. So of these eight books, some of them I'm already technically currently reading, I've already started, and then some of these I haven't started yet, but I definitely want to get to them as soon as possible. So we're going to start out my TBR with books that I'm currently reading. So the first book that I'm currently reading that I'm definitely going to be getting back to in the month of January is The Dream Thieves by Maggie Stiefvater. So this is the second book in the Raven Boy. This is a YA fantasy contemporary series that's following a character named Blue who lives in a family of, I think it's Sears, but she does not have any sort of powers. She just magnifies other people's powers. She kind of becomes friends with these boys from the local school. That's why they're called the Raven Boys because that's the mascot of the school, I believe. And they are looking for the Raven King, which when I explain it that way, it doesn't sound that interesting. Trust me, like when you read this, it's really easy to get into. I did start this and I got like about 50 pages into it, but then I lost the book. I found it, obviously, so I'll definitely be getting back to this. And because it's a paperback, I'll probably read this a little bit faster than some of the other series that I have. And maybe I'll even get to the other two books in the series because I do have copies of those as well. So if I finish this pretty fast, I'll probably start those pretty soon as well. And I'm really excited for it because I got through the first book in like a day. Like it was really fast. So I'm really excited to get back to this series. So the next book that I'm definitely going to be getting back to in the month of January is A Shadow in the Ember by Jennifer L. Armentrout. So this is the prequel novel to the From Blood and Ash series, which the From Blood and Ash series last year like kind of took me by storm and I ended up loving a lot more than I was expecting to, especially since considering it's a vampire romance novel series. It has a very high fantasy feel to it and I think that's the reason why I ended up liking it so much. And this is the prequel novel. So in that series there is an allusion to the first maiden. So this one is following the first maiden. So I'm already about halfway through this one and while I'm enjoying it, it's a little bit disappointing to me just because it is so similar to From Blood and Ash, the first novel in that series. I'm hoping that it changes a little bit more towards the end, but I will definitely be getting to this and hopefully I can finish it soon. And I'll definitely like post a review on this one because I feel like this is one that I'm going to have a lot of thoughts about because it's just one of those types of novels that's kind of a guilty pleasure read for me that I really enjoy and find highly entertaining, but I also have a lot of issues with. I definitely am excited to talk about that and hopefully I can get to this one very soon soon. So of course, I've mentioned this several times on my channel now. I definitely have to talk about Jade Legacy by Fonda Lee. This is the third book in the Greenbone Saga. I am almost done with it, so I'm definitely gonna be finishing it probably in the first week of January, but it has to be on this list because it is definitely a book that I'm planning to read in the month of January. I am loving it so, so much. I can't wait to have more to talk about this book. It is one of the books that I have been anticipating for the longest while. I'm so glad I finally got to it. There's just so many twists and turns that I'm enjoying so much. There are a lot of characters twists that I wasn't expecting but I'm loving so so much also and it's incredibly political a lot more so than I think the previous books were and I'm enjoying that also. There are kids that grow up in this book and I think they're just so adorable. I love them so so much. In this book so far I'm loving all the new characters. I'm like I'm just loving everything about this book. I'll definitely be having a review for this book coming out very very soon and I can't wait to see where it finally ends but if you want to see that you're gonna have to wait for my vlog at the end of this week because I'm sure that I'm gonna be finishing it very soon. And the next book that I'm hoping to get to as soon as possible 
is The Wisdom of Crowds by Joe Abercrombie. So this is the third novel in the Age of Madness trilogy, which is kind of the sequel trilogy to his original First Law trilogy. Right there, like they're all right there. This is one of my favorite series of all time. In case you guys didn't know, I think it would be definitely top five. So I'm obviously really, really excited for this. I did read the first chapter and I was a little disappointed by the first chapter, but like it's one chapter. Like what really happens in one chapter? So like, I'm not gonna let that color my opinions of it. I'm definitely gonna get to this one as soon as possible, but I also kind of really want to savor it. And I really also don't want to hate it. I'm a little hesitant going into it because I want to love it so much, but also it's Joe Abercrombie. So I'm probably gonna end up really loving it. And I probably don't have anything to worry about. For those of you who don't know, this is the, I want to say ninth novel in the series, in the, like the overarching series, but it's the third novel in this particular trilogy. So this trilogy is following the children of our main characters from the original series. And it's in kind of like an industrial era, just set in this same world. I love this world. I love these characters. I love more the characters from the original series, but their children are great too. Some of them more than others. I'm really excited to see where this is going because I did really enjoy the first two novels in this one. And I tend to like third novels in trilogies the best. So I'm hoping that I'm gonna like this one the best as well. And hopefully I can get this review out to you guys very soon. If I don't get to it this week, then I'll definitely be getting to it next week because I'm really, really excited for this one. Now I'd like to move on to the books that I haven't started yet, but I definitely plan to get to in January. And I'm also really excited for. So the first book that I have to talk about is The Bone Shard Emperor by Andrea Stewart. So this book is the sequel to The Bone Shard Daughter, which was a high fantasy debut that I read last year, like on a whim and enjoyed a lot. It was definitely a really great start to a series. And I'm really excited to see where the second one's going because I've heard a few people talking about it so far and everyone seems to think that it's completely different than the first one, but like going in the right direction. And I'm so excited for that. In this series, it's actually following four main characters. I don't remember everything about it because it's been a while since I've read the series yet. So I might reread the first one in anticipation of the second, but I also kind of just want to read the second book because I remember the plot pretty well. The only four characters, one of the main characters is like the daughter of the emperor and they have this magic in which the people of the empire all donate bone shards to the emperor. Those shards in wartime are used to create these constructs that fight in war so the people don't have to fight. It's not wartime anymore, it's a peacetime. So it gets political and really interesting interesting ways and it also has really great characters that I'm excited to see what happens with them. So I'm really excited to get to this one. Hopefully I can get to it this week. If not, then I'll definitely be getting to it early next week. So in case you were wondering, yes, I do have a little bit of a pattern this month and it's sequels or like third books in series. So this next book is not any different because the next book that I'm really excited to get to is The Liar's Knot by M.A. Carrick. This is the sequel to The Mask of Mirrors, which The Mask of Mirrors made it to my most surprising books of 2021. I picked it up on kind of a whim. Well, I found it on NetGalley and I was just like, oh, this looks interesting. And then I read it and I was like, oh my gosh, this is so good. It's a political fantasy series that is just very well written. It's complex and political and it has really great mysteries that I'm absolutely loving. And I cannot wait to read the sequel. Like I will be getting to this as soon as possible. Obviously there's other books that I am a little bit more interested in just because they're my most anticipated releases. I am really interested in getting to this one as well. This one will probably be closer towards the end of the month, but I'm hoping that I can still get to it in January. And I'm really excited to get to this because the first novel like completely blew me away. I didn't expect to like it half as much as I ended up liking it. And I'm hoping that I'll end up liking this one just as much. This series is following a character named Ren, who's a little bit of a con artist that gets her way into this noble family so that she can be introduced to society. And of course, like has her own machinations and stuff that she's doing there. And I loved every second of it. So I'm really excited for the sequel. So uh, the next book that I definitely want to get to in the month of January is Cytonic by Brandon Sanderson. So this is the third book in the Skyward trilogy, which is, is a YA sci-fi series by the awesome Brandon Sanderson, who I absolutely love. And this is the third book in the series. The first books were Skyward and Starsight, which I like the first book Skyward a lot more than Starsight, but I still really enjoyed Starsight. And the ending of that book made me really excited for the next book in the series. So hopefully I'll end up loving this. This is definitely an anticipated release from 2020 that I'm excited to get to. So hopefully I can get to it really soon. This one will probably be a little bit later in the month just because there's other books that I'm a little bit more excited for, but I am definitely really excited for this one and hopefully I can get to it this month. And I'm excited to see where it all goes. And the last book that I really, really want to get to in the month of January is Hyperion by Dan Simmons. So I don't know very much about this book other than it's 
like an epic sci-fi series that has a lot of time travel in it. I've been like super into time travel novels recently. Like I've been reading every time travel novel that I can get my hands on. And I heard this one is a time travel novel that has people time travel like between centuries and stuff like that, which is just really fascinating to me. So I'm excited about this, but like I know literally nothing about this book. If you guys have read this, let me know in the comments what you guys think about it because I'm really interested because I haven't heard anyone really talk about it. But this has been on my radar for a really long time. Like this has been in my like recommended books to read for the longest while. And I feel like it's finally time for me to get to it because I didn't know there was time travel in this book, but I'm like super into time travel right now. So I really want to read as much of that as I can. And I feel like this would be a great addition to my collection of time travel books right now. Really excited to get to this. Hopefully I can get to it this month, but it's kind of like my least priority at the moment, but I definitely still want to get to it. So that's all I have for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. I post videos on Tuesdays and Saturdays, so consider subscribing. If you'd like to be notified as soon as I upload, you can click that little bell icon. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up to support my channel. All social media links are in the description down below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!